I have just scaled a brand new Shopify store from zero to 3K a day in profit in less than 60 days. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step strategy that you can use to get from zero to 10K profit per month with your Shopify store. Now, listen, this will not be a theory-based video where I'm just gonna tell you how to create a logo and all that garbage. Instead, this will be a full breakdown video where I'm gonna give you an actionable step-by-step -step plan that you can implement today. And if you do implement the 60-day protocol I'm about to show you, you will be making 10K profit per month in the next 60 days. Now I understand this is a wild claim, but here's how it works. Step one of the 60 day protocol is the product research phase. So you're gonna start doing product research using the TikTok and Instagram burner methods. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna put a little tutorial here on screen, which is gonna show you exactly how to do it. But to sum it up, you basically scroll on TikTok and Instagram, optimize your profile so it only shows you dropshipping products, and then you keep scrolling and find more products. And when you find these products, you're gonna have to put them into this this sheet with a few criteria which the product just has to follow. You first put in the product name, video link, AliExpress link, and AliExpress cost, and then you have to answer a few questions about your product. And this is crucial. Number one, is it easy to go viral with this? Are other people going viral left and right without having insanely good content, or are they putting in extreme effort to go viral? So let's imagine it is easy to go viral. Then you put in one, if it's not, then zero. Is it recent? Is somebody currently blowing up with it? Yes or no? Do people want it? Is it a product which is actually useful or is it just something which is gonna blow up super easily but nobody really needs that product? Ideally, obviously you want a product which people do want. And then also, can you film videos with that product? So for example, if it's a dog product and you don't have a dog, you can't film with that. Very, very simple. So these are the main criteria you're gonna follow and you're putting your product name here. You're just gonna have a bunch of products in here before you make any moves, all right? It's very important to not just find one product or two products and then start testing it right away. You need to build up a list first to pick the best one. Now, if you already are in our program, you're also going to get a similar sheet like this one. It has a few more criteria because we're going to be able to look over that and it's like more sophisticated. Like, for example, is it saturated or not? It's very difficult for a beginner to know that. But for us, we, we see the entire market, so we know. And basically, if you're in the program, we're going to just tell you which ones are good and which ones are bad. So, for example, if this is a good product, we're just going to mark it green. And if this is a bad product, it's basically going to be untouched. And then in the end of the day, you're gonna have a huge list of 30 products and basically what we're gonna do is just take the guessing game out of the equation and tell you which products are good and make sure that you only test the best ones. Now, how you're gonna structure your day in the beginning might seem a little bit annoying, but you have to do it exactly like I'm gonna tell you here, okay? I'm gonna make two versions here in the calendar for somebody who is doing this full-time or for somebody who's doing it part-time. Let me start with full-time. If you're doing full-time, let's say you wake up at 8.30 and you start at nine. The first few hours, you're gonna do TikTok scrolling, all right? So TikTok scrolling. And basically here, it's very, very important to only do product research while you're scrolling. And it's also very important to not fill out this sheet while you're scrolling. What you just do is you save products which you see, which might seem interesting, into your TikTok account, but it's very important that you don't fill in your sheet yet. Then you do a little break um, in here, and then after that you do Instagram scrolling. All right, same thing as I explained on TikTok, you're gonna do on Instagram as well for a few hours here. After that, you're gonna fill out your sheet and make sure you do a little bit of a deeper research in there. So for example, to find out if somebody is recently blowing up, you're actually gonna have to search for your product on Instagram or on TikTok and basically see if the accounts which are currently running it are doing well or if they're doing bad. Here, you're gonna fill in your sheet and basically do in-depth research. Fill in sheet plus in-depth research. And all of this can be extended to how your life is. I obviously understand that not everybody can work 12 hour days. So this is generally how you should be structuring it. However, if you have more time, then just do more scrolling. All right, this is how you should be backfilling your entire day. And here for one hour, if you are in our program, you should be having calls with us. So we also look over the products. You should be watching our course. You should be watching the group calls. You should basically be utilizing our program for like around an hour a day just to make sure that we look over your progress every single day and you do the right thing. So in here, I'm gonna write calls slash watch course slash watch group calls. 
Okay, now, if you have a job, so a nine to five job in here, um, and basically let's say it takes you 30 minutes to come home, so this here is job, all right? Basically, this is not your dropshipping work, so we're gonna make a grip. After you're done with the job, we basically will pretty much do the same thing, which is just gonna be compiled here, all right? TikTok scrolling, and then basically Instagram scrolling, and basically same thing in here, you're gonna just fill in the research sheets after that, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now, you need to have at least three hours a day. If you don't have three hours a day, it doesn't make sense to do this whole thing. So if you cannot allow yourself to work for three hours a day, then this whole structure is most likely not gonna work for you. Most of you guys, if you're being honest, you have way more than that. And then afterwards, again, if you're in the program, you're gonna be able to let us review all the stuff and make sure that you're going the right direction, show us the product, etc. Now with this product research phase, even though it seems very annoying, you're gonna have to do for at least one to two weeks. One to two weeks is usually how long it takes. And here it's gonna be very important that you order a few products as soon as possible. All right, after like three days of doing this product research, you should already order a few products just so when you're done with the product research, you're gonna be able to film at least something. Because step two of our 60 day protocol is not making money, it's learning the skill of organic dropship. This is the phase where you're actually gonna start becoming good at editing videos, filming videos, and all these things. So here, it's very important to always keep in mind that the time between you ordering a product and it arriving at your home is gonna be a few days and you don't wanna waste them. That's why you wanna pre-order a little bit earlier before you're even done with the product research phase. And then later on, you can order a few more. So the strategy we're gonna be using to make money is organic dropshipping. So what that means is you just wanna go viral on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts and make sales from the virality. In the learning phase of organic dropshipping, you're gonna have a very big urge to quit because you're gonna be making videos, they're not gonna go viral, you're gonna be making videos, they're not gonna make you money, everything is gonna suck for a while until it doesn't. There's gonna be a turning point where all of a sudden you post videos and they do go viral. And that's all you're aiming for because you don't even want to convert yet, all right? We're in the learning phase. The main goal of this is just how do we go viral? And it sounds like an impossible task to do to just go viral on TikTok. In reality, it's pretty simple if you just make decent content. And how you're gonna get there is by doing it. So let me quickly show you how to structure your day when you're doing it. I'm gonna again make two versions, one full-time, one part-time. And if you're doing this full-time, the first few hours of your day is gonna be just taking your product, which we already selected with you, and then basically filming for that product. So filming product one. Right after you're done with filming, you're gonna have to edit. Edit product one. So generally, as a rule of thumb, it takes two hours to film and edit two videos. Okay, now it really heavily depends on how difficult it is to film your video. So for example, if you have this magnetic ball product, you first have to build up the magnetic structure to even film for that video and that's gonna take a lot of time. However, if you have this plushie, you just have to place it somewhere, take a clip and that's it. It can literally vary from five to 10 minutes to a few hours per video. So ideally you should be testing three to four products at the same time. And what we're gonna do here is just for the sake of this video, we're gonna take two hours as an average to film and edit. So we're gonna do that. And this we're gonna basically replicate like three times. So I put in all these three products, but in reality, this is not really gonna look like this. There's gonna be some products which are gonna be super fast to edit and super long to film. And there's gonna be some other products which are gonna take longer in editing and is gonna be faster in filming. And in the end of the day, it's gonna somewhat look like this here because in reality, every product is different. Also, it's very important that you obviously post two times a day. So in between your filming and editing sessions, you're actually gonna have to post one time. And then after you're done, you're gonna post another time. So after you're done with all of this, you're still gonna have to do some product research after. All right, so here we're gonna add in product research at least for like one to two hours 100 percent every day and this should just be done in your free time all right this is just something which you should be having a habit of just scrolling instead of scrolling on like some random account watching memes you have to scroll and watch dropshipping products and if you are in our program what you're gonna have to do is basically join our calls so either you're gonna take a one-on-one -on -one call with us or we're just gonna look over the videos you created or you watch our course or you're gonna join one of our group calls and then also send in your videos and make sure that we review them. So group call review. 
and this is just going to be something which is going to enhance the learning curve by a lot. It's going to be so much faster because obviously every time you show us a video, you're going to have some sort of mistake in there. And that's the reason why you didn't go viral yet, right? So it's going to be me and other people who are just going to look over that content and tell you what's good and what's bad. Very important moment over here. Here, you have to plan content for tomorrow. All right, crucial. You have to do this by all means. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You need to wake up the next day and get to filming right away. You have to have an exact plan where you're gonna do it and how you're gonna do it. And also, it's very important to plan out everything in a logical way. So for example, if you have an outdoor product and an indoor product, you have to plan out, all right, do I go out first? Do I go out later? What makes the most logical sense to do everything the fastest? Now, real quick, we're also gonna touch on what you're going to do if you have a full-time job we're going to put in job over here how this is just going to look is the same thing just compromised and obviously we're going to have to adjust picking products for your situation as well so when i earlier said one of the criterias for a good product is that it's easy for you to film with that this counts so as i said if you don't have a dog you cannot film dog products well if you don't have time you cannot film time consuming products this is very important to keep in mind in the beginning and in here we're just going to have to pick products which are going to be faster to film and edit. All right, so if you have a full-time job, this is basically how it should look. First, you post to the videos which you filmed yesterday, then you film product one, edit product one, film product two, edit product two, and here we're gonna just check how many products you can actually film per day, depending on how long it takes to film for your product. And then you post the second post of the day from the videos you filmed and edited here for all the products you have, and do your product research, have a call with us where you review the content you posted, we're gonna look over it, tell you what's good and what's bad, and then you plan out tomorrow. Now, if you have a job, Job, somewhere in between here you probably should be doing something so it's gonna be either editing videos which you filmed yesterday or planning out the content which you're gonna do today or something along those lines but if you have a job and you want to do dropshipping full-time soon then if the job allows it and if you are able to work a little bit on dropshipping I would highly recommend doing stuff in here as well now I'm telling you right now this is a very frustrating phase because it's gonna take some time until you get good at content and nothing is gonna work at first you just need to accept that and your expectations have to be, I need to post X amount of videos per day. That is my goal. And every day I want to improve my videos a little bit. And this is constantly something we're doing in the program. We hold you accountable that you actually structure your day like I showed you. And also, by the way, fill in your calendar the right way with us together. And we look over that, tell you what's good and what's bad. And if you're slacking, we're going to yell at you. And the second thing, if you don't go viral and you do it by yourself, you don't know why you didn't go viral. And that's a big issue because you're going to start changing things, but you cannot really pinpoint what the actual problem about your video is and this is what we do in our calls we just look over the content and tell you if it's good and if it's bad then we tell you what to change now you will not make money in this phase that's not the point of this phase however step three is the conversion phase after you're decent at going viral we're gonna take the virality and turn it into dollars now to get to this phase usually it's gonna take you anywhere between 30 and 50 days take some time until you're here however when you are your day doesn't really change that much you keep filming but at this point you're making money off it because you're going viral and also we're gonna start sprinkling in building good stores building high converting stores having good offers and all these things we're also gonna focus on that a lot working with you together and this is also where the fun begins you're gonna feel like you're on top of the world however you're not allowed to get comfortable because if you do you're gonna lose all that money again just because you made some money doesn't mean that you're gonna keep making money forever and I want to make this very clear this whole business model is fucking tough so you're your daily structure is going to basically stay the same, but your videos are going to be starting to become really, really good. And you're going to be able to cycle out bad product and only focus on the best. This is also one of the biggest parts of our program, just telling you when to kill a product and telling you when to keep going. Because you can be testing the same three products for a year without making it work. In some cases, it takes you like two months until you even see any success with the product, which is fine. But if you quit at one and a half months in, you basically wasted your time. On the other hand, there's a bunch of products which you should be quitting earlier, but you keep going with them forever and you don't know when to stop and move on to the next one. Well, this is what we're gonna tell you. We just look at the things you do and we tell you, all right, kill this product, leave this run, kill this, do this. And that just makes your life so much easier because the opportunity cost with keeping going with a product, which is already saturated, for example, is very, high you could be testing something else and your time is limited as we see listen to me right now dropshipping is at its peak currently with organic dropshipping 
it's actually doable to make a ridiculous amount of money in a pretty short period of time. And we have a lot of examples. Like Liam, who made 114,000 pounds, which is almost $130,000, following exactly this protocol. And there's no tricks here. You just have to host content and constantly make it better. What we helped him specifically with is number one, identifying his target audience and making the videos very relatable to him. And how we structure our program is that our top, top level students are helping our beginner programs as well. So for example, Bon, who made over a million dollars with this organic business, he taught Liam how to come up with amazing hooks that the content just doesn't look stale. That was one really big thing we helped him with. And the second really big mistake Liam did was not bulk filming. He has a product which needs a little bit of a setup. And he did the setup and then he filmed for it, he edited, films for another product and basically calls it a day. But our coach Tobias actually told him to switch that around and do bulk filming in one single day for the whole week. And then all of a sudden, he only had to do the whole setup once, he filmed the whole day for that product and then had everything done for the whole week. We just changed that one thing and it made a hell of a difference. And making 10K profit a month is usually what happens between day 50 and day 100. After day 100, you are in the scaling phase. Now the scaling phase is where you cut down the quantity of videos you post and go up in the quality. Here it's going to be very important to start focusing on products and videos which are extremely difficult to film and it takes you hours and hours on end and that's how you ensure that nobody else can copy your stuff. Because here you're going to go the extra mile and basically focus on making extremely good content but a little bit less. And this is for example something which my student Agam did part time. He was having a full time job, he has kids, so obviously he had way less time than most of you guys. And inside of 90 days, he was able to make $230,000 dollars with one store. He followed the same exact protocol and there was four key components to making this work. Number one, our coach Pepe picked a product for him which was a banger. It was a perfect one. Number two was with our advice and looking over his videos, he went viral right away because his videos from the get-go were perfect. Instead of mass testing, he took his time with one product only but he made it good. Then we added lever number three, which is optimizing his store to maximize sales and average order value. This is something which most organic dropshippers completely forget. However, if you get all that traffic to your store, adding 1% to your conversion rate makes a massive difference. Adding $2 to your average order value makes a huge impact. So we just added a few upsells, improved the store, and it just blew up even more. The last and probably most important thing we did was just optimizing his calendar. Because his time was so limited and he just had a few hours every day, we had to optimize every single hour he had and we made sure that he only focuses not on things which feel productive but on things which actually are. Now that scaling phase is around day 100 to day 200. After day 200 you're gonna start getting into the branding phase and that's where we're gonna start going very very deep into supplier research where we're gonna start having custom packaging where we're gonna start having gift cards in your package where things like having a perfect logo and a store design actually start to matter. Here your main focus is gonna be outsourcing because obviously you cannot keep filming videos forever you need to get people who are going to do these things for you so we're going to start hiring creators and building them up for you and a massive advantage people have in our program is that we just give creators to you you're not going to have to search for them we just have basically an infinite amount we're going to give them to you and you're going to start working with them right away this is something which our high level students are doing like mike here bon they're actually focusing on giving out tasks to other people and optimizing their time. These are things which are higher level moves. And on top of all of this, we're going to add paid ads to the equation. We're going to start helping you with running Facebook ads profitably onto your product and building a legit brand with that together. So that phase goes from around day 200 to day 400. So we're already over a year in when that phase basically ends and you get to the next phase where everything is actually already outsourced, everything's running for you. And if I show you my calendar right now, I'm obviously gonna blur out everything. And this is usually how it looks. At this point, I have around 20 people working for me. And if I just enable a few calendars in here, just to put it into perspective, this is how it looks. And this is the productivity level which you can achieve with other people. I, by myself, I'm not capable of doing this entire calendar because there's 10 different tasks every single hour, right? I cannot do that by myself. I need to have a bunch of people to execute that with 
with me to get. So that is how I'm able to consistently find new winners and scale them up very, very fast. We have this product right here, which literally yesterday made over $7,700. It's split up in two stores, but it's the same product. And we literally started this product less than two months ago. And the craziest part about all this is I'm not running the ads. I'm not filming the videos. It's my team who's doing it for me, but it just took years until I've actually figured out how to build a team like that. And currently my personal calendar looks pretty chill. So basically how it is for me now is I have around three to four Zoom calls per week with my store manager, who's also my brother. And he basically manages our portfolio of stores. Our portfolio of stores literally makes multiple seven figures every single year. And that's happening on autopilot for me. I mean, I can literally just show you one of our portfolio stores, which just in the last 12 months made $2.7 million. And we have a bunch. And I'm not saying all this to flex on you. I just want to show you that you can turn this into a very, very long term business, which is going to make you money for years. So to summarize your whole journey, day one to 15 should be your product research phase. Day 15 to 50 should be your skill learning phase. Day 50 to 100 should be your conversion phase where you actually start making your first good money. Day 100 to 200 is your scaling phase where we scale everything up and get it to a consistent level. And then day 200 to 400, it's basically all about branding and outsourcing and doing all these things. I'm setting this timeline just to make things realistic for you. To get to the branding and outsourcing phase is most likely going to take you more than a year. Having a real brand with people who are managing all of this is not easy. So it's going to take time. I don't want to make this sound easy whatsoever. But if you go through these five steps and actually have us on your side, who are going to look over every single step you do and make sure that you're going in the right direction and not wasting your fucking time, this will work. We have proven it more than enough times. We know what a good product is. We know what a good video is. We have all the connections to warehouses, to the best suppliers in the game. We know the entire space in and out. And that's the advantage you're going to get when you work with us. Now, what you can do right now is sign up for a completely free one-on-one -on -one call to see if this makes sense with you. Alex signed up and in three weeks, he made $60,000. Emir Khan made $70,000 in less than two months. Andy and Sean made 30K in 60 days. Sebastian made 50K in 100 days. These are numbers which are very realistic. And if you wanna become the next, click the link below, sign up for a call and we see if it's a good fit.